Do you practice yoga for flexibility and cross-training? Then head over to YogaOutlet.com, the new site brought to you by Swim Outlet. For all your yoga gear, try YogaOutlet.com, the fastest growing yoga shop on the web. El Elvis, Elvis V. Burroughs tweeted at me and he was like, hey, please, please go pro. I told him that I was considering having the NC2A just take away all my hard-earned money for the fifth year in a row, but I guess since he told me to, I was going to go pro. The 2016 Olympic silver medalist Josh Perneau held off a tough field at the Austin Pro Swim, dropping a 2.11 in the 200 meter breaststroke. The Cal physics scientist, now done with NC2A competition, is loving the pro life. It's been great. Um, it's, it's obviously a much different experience than kind of NC2A life, but it's really fun. And it's fun to have guys like Tom, who went through this process three years ago, uh, kind of guiding me and Pebbly through it as we kind of explore. And I'm sure we're going to do the same for Murphy and help out. Um, as he kind of transitions in March. Um, yeah, I'm just really thankful that I have such a good group around me at Cal. Uh, it makes pro life really easy when you've got multiple guys who are staying after college and pursuing the same goal with you. In terms of the Cal training culture, what's the difference between being an NC2A athlete and a pro swimmer? I lift earlier now. I mean, that's, that's honestly about it. I mean, it doesn't really change that much. Like, I'm still swimming with the college guys, obviously. Um, I mean, the team's going to change every year a little bit. Seniors go out, freshmen come in, but I mean, it's it's still a team, you know. Um, like what the pros do um, is going to impact how the college guys swim. What the college guys do is going to impact how we swim. Uh, so we're all still working together, same coaches, same team, same goals. How's your life changed since you became an Olympic medalist? Just a couple more people know who I am now. That's about it. Um, just make, makes going to the hometown fun. Um, I have a tattoo now, so that's cool. Um, but aside from that, no. I mean, I think most of us, like, who went down to Rio, like, I mean, we're going to stay grounded. Like, we're still who we are. But you're an Olympian forever, and everybody has that moment when it sinks in. I know you're grounded, but personally, how does that new reality feel? Pretty stoked, man. Um, yeah, I mean, I've, I've said this in a bunch of interviews, like being a U.S. Olympian, just being on the team was my ultimate goal in sports. So anything on top of that was just icing on the cake, um, which made swimming in Rio a relatively stress-free experience for me, which was great. Um, but yeah, I mean, <laughs> just like living through the memories, I still can't believe that happened. It's, it's amazing. You're a bona fide swim star now. You could have signed with a lot of brands. Why Adidas? I mean, being an Adidas athlete is pretty sick, and I think they, um, Deb, Deb especially, that's their, that's their designer, Deb Yeomans, um, she's really good about taking athlete input uh, into designing their suits, and she also is using actual like principles of kinesiology to try and make the best technology. Um, and I mean, not that I know a ton about any other like suit brand's process, but I think that's really, really cool, um, just what she's done. Um, like with other groups, I know she worked with the All Blacks before the rugby team. Um, so yeah, I, I feel like they had a lot to offer. Um, it's just good people to work with. All right, yeah, good race for me. Um, just good early season swim. Um, pretty consistent through the last 350s, kind of built through the race, got faster at the end. Um, Fink always charges home super hard, knew I was going to have to hold him off, so always got to gotta save a little bit when you're next to that guy. Um, good swim though, I'm happy with it. Um, fairly close to where I was last year, so I think I'm at a good point moving forward.